Let's be real for a second. You start learning the essay, you solve a few problems, you feel good, and then you hit a hard problem. You stare at it, you try, you fail. You check the solution and then forget it the next day. Rinse, repeat, weeks pass. You are still stuck. Does it sound familiar? If yes, then stick around because today I am breaking down the exact steps to 5x your DSA without burning out and trust me, by the end of this video, you will have a clear roadmap to dominate DSA like a pro. Before we start, here is a question. Why do 90% of programmers fail at DSA? Is it because they are not smart enough? No. Is it because they don't work hard? Not at all. It is because they don't have a system. And today, I am giving you that system. Let's go. Most people think solving 500 plus questions will make them a DSA master. Wrong. Completely wrong. There is a smarter way. Pick 100 well-structured questions like blind 75 plus some extras. Instead of solving blindly, focus on patterns. For example, ever noticed how sliding window and two pointers look different, but actually sliding window can be considered as one of the type of two pointers. If you don't, you're wasting time. The trick is not to solve more problems, but to solve better problems that teach you key concepts. When you attempt random problems, you miss the pattern that connect them. Instead, categorize them by data structures and techniques. Master one category before moving to the next. DSA is not about memorizing, it's about seeing patterns and applying them. Here is where most people go wrong. They try to memorize solutions. Big mistake. I once solved 200 plus problems before an interview. But guess what? I still got an unseen question. Did I panic? No, because I recognize the pattern. Think of patterns as templates. Once you understand them, you can apply them to hundreds of problems. It is like having a cheat code for DSA. Every time you solve a new problem, ask yourself, have I seen something similar before? Which pattern fits here? This is what separates a beginner from an expert. Most people waste hours on a single problem. Instead, follow this simple rule. First 30 minutes, try solving it on your own. No help. Struggle through it. Next 5 minutes, take hints, analyze where you are stuck. Last 10 minutes, if it's still stuck, read the solution, but don't just move on. Code it again from scratch. The learning happens when you write the solution without looking. Most people read the solution and think, yeah, I got it. But if you try writing it from scratch, you'll realize that you don't. If you truly want to master DSA, never move to the next problem without fully understanding the current world. Recursion scares people. Why? Because they learn it the wrong way. Instead of memorizing, visualize it. Imagine recursion like a stack of plates. You place one, then another, then another. And to remove them, you go in reverse order. That's recursive. Try run your recursive calls on paper before coding. Break a problem into sub-problems. If you can solve the smaller version, you can build the larger version. Once recursion clicks, dynamic programming becomes 10 times easier. When stuck, ask yourself, if I had the answer for a smaller input, how would I use it to solve the bigger input? That's how you unlock recursion. Solving problems alone is great, but here is the problem. Real interview is different ball game. You are under pressure, you have a time limit. Someone is watching your code. Here is how to prepare. Set a timer for 30-45 minutes. Pick a random problem from lead code. Solve it as if you are in an actual interview. Pro tip, explain your thought process out loud while coding. It helps you think clearly and boost confidence. What is the key to interview success? Confidence plus speed plus clarity. The only way to develop these is by simulating the real experience. Let's be real. You won't master DSA overnight. But here is the secret. Consistency beats intensity every single time. I have seen people grind for 7-8 hours straight only to burn out. Don't be that person. Instead, solve 2-3 problems daily, review your mistakes, track your progress using a spreadsheet. Small daily progress will take you further than cramming 10 hours in one sitting. Also, keep a journal. Every time you make a mistake, write it down. Over time, you'll see patterns in your mistakes and that's where you grow. DSA is hard, you will feel frustrated, you will get stuck. But here is the truth, that struggle is where the growth happens. The reason top programmers succeed is not because they are smarter, it is because they don't quit. So next time you are struggling, don't get frustrated. Get excited, it means you are learning. DSA is not about solving thousand plus problems. 
it is about solving the right problems seeing patterns and building confidence if you found this video helpful smash that like button and subscribe to the channel tell me in the comments what's your biggest dsa struggle i'll reply with my best tip until then keep coding keep